This is next level crazy. Hello my friends and how are you doing? I know we all want to make our own video games with AI, have that holodeck experience, make movies based on AI and now we have come a whole lot closer to that. Only yesterday I showed you world labs where you can move around a little bit in a 360 bubble based on depth map. Today I want to show you Genie 2 by Google. You have probably seen AIs create video game like experiences. For example, the AI that created a classic Doom game or the AI that simulates playing Minecraft. The problem with all of these models is that they are specific to that video game and they don't have an actual world that they create or any kind of memory about that world. So if you would turn around, it would show you a different environment than you just walked through. But with Chini 2, this is completely different. The Chini 2 model has been trained on tons of video data from different games and because of that has an actual world building ability. So let's have a look at different examples of that. One of the most important things for video games, of course, is the movement. So in the first example, we see a third person character moving around in the environment controlled by a keyboard. And you see here classic movements running to the left, running to the right. You can also look around in the environment. In the second example, though, we have a first person experience where you see the hands in front of the character, but also different kinds of movement, for example, straving to the side. In the third one, we have a closed space with this room and we can also look out of the room into the city outside and you can see how well this is simulating a 3D space, but also the space outside and the consistency in the room. In the next example, we see some very interesting interaction. And by the way, this is based on a starting frame and afterwards the AI imagines the environment while the player is taking different routes through that environment, showing them different things. Now, two things are really interesting here. The first one is how the boat is moving on the water where you can see this kind of simulation on how a boat of course is completely different in the movement from a car but also how the boat interacts with the water and creates these white water streaks from the body and from the engines. Another interesting example here is how the boat is crushing into the sand at the beach and actually interacting with the sand being thrown around by the ground because it's different from water. So it has an understanding also for the different materials that it is interacting with and that is really impressive. Another even more important part about video games is the consistency of the gaming world. And in these examples here, we can see that it will remember the world that has been generated and then be able to recreate it from different perspectives. Now the first one, we're just looking down on the ground and then back up again so that we see the same pyramids again. And that already is a big achievement. But in the second example, you can see this Android or robot walking through the world. And first we are looking face on onto that building. But when we walk forward into the world, the robot is looking up at the same building with the same architectural features, design and colors. And that is actually really impressive. In the third video, you can also see a pretty large environment where we are inside of a dome or some kind of other structure and the character is moving around and that and also turning to the side while the architecture stays consistent. One thing that sets this model really apart is the ability to create very different gaming worlds. Here you can see a video game that is played in first person perspective. In the next example though, you can see an isometric game that is viewed from top down, completely different interaction with the environment. And of course the AI model has to understand how to differently create the world in this case. And in the third example, you see here a racing game where we have a third person view 
on the car and again this is not just created in that third person view but also understanding the different physics and interactions when you are playing as a car basically rather than a human running through the world and to top this up the genie 2 model is also able to create complex 3d models and characters as you can see in this example of a giant robot that is also consistent when we walk around it and look up at that giant battle map the environment generation we have seen so far is good for about a minute of gameplay. Now, while that might seem short, it is much better than anything we have seen so far. Of course, an AI gaming world is nothing without the ability of interacting with that gaming world. In the first examples here, we can see interaction with objects. For example, the character popping these red balloons where he's jumping up to the balloon to actually reach it. This is probably a favorite of many of you. We all love to shoot the red bell and see it pop. Here this is actually done pretty beautifully even though there is a little bit of visual artifacts. In the third example we can also see that the character is moving through the environment while opening doors and revealing other environments, other rooms behind that door. Of course another core gameplay mechanic. One thing this game can also do is to create NPCs inside of the game, even though the examples here are a little bit shallow on what it actually shows you, just the character running next to you. It's not super impressive, but it's good that it can create more characters than just you and you can actually interact with these characters. Before we have already talked about the physics that this can create in the world. Here we have two different simulation of boats and the interesting part here is the water simulation on how the water reacts differently to these different types of boats but also how the boat is simulated. For example the sailing ship being bent to the side by the wind that is hitting the sail so that it can move forward. Really, really interesting. Next, we have examples here of different smoke and fire animations, which look pretty realistic. And not just that, they are also happening at the right spot in the game, but are also consistent to the movement. And this has been a problem with other gaming simulations or with other video simulations. For example, when you can remember the examples I showed you on Runway, where you see smoke and fire, but it's kind of going in the wrong direction here it's going in the correct direction and staying on top of the volcano while you move your perspective your vision around to other areas of the game in the next examples we are seeing two different types of gravity first we have here the player riding a horse jumping up and down with the horse actually in a river so here not only do you have the gravity simulation of getting down again when the horse is jumping down to the ground but also that the water is splashing when the horse is hitting the water on the way down and in the second example you can see here a car racing over a cliff actually falling down in a very nice way now we're coming to lighting and i love good lights in video games and these examples here are actually mind-blowing first we have this kind of asymmetric third person perspective with the character moving around in this kind of tomb and the light actually is reflecting from the ground from the walls from the character even giving a character shadow that is looking pretty good it's not a hundred percent there but what i see here is pretty impressive in the second one we have the character with the flashlight moving around now here actually i'm kind of missing the shadows of the flashlight as well as the flashlight actually hitting the trees in most cases it only hits it in some cases and you have a very nice consistent silhouette of the character that is behind the light beam so still even though it has some mistakes it's pretty impressive and another thing that was always kind of difficult for ai is to have good consistent reflections and in this case i have to say that the examples look really good and actually have this kind of like ray tracing feel you get from the newer video games 
Now, of course, the question is, what is all of that good for? If you only have one minute of consistent world generation, but the world is kind of different for each player. Well, one of the biggest things here, why this is so important, is prototyping of video game. A thing that I found really impressive here is that you can actually go just by starting with a real world photo of a location, and then you can animate that you can create a world out of that photo, move inside of that, interact, not just with the world by walking around, but actually all of the different materials in that world are generated in what they are. So if you make a photo of a beach with a lake, you can actually go into the water and swim around in that world. Of course, you can do the same thing with AI generated images. And this is even more insane because here you have the full flexibility of creating any kind of environment from the AI images and then start to play that as a video game. Google actually pushed this to 11 because not only can you create these kind of video game environments you also have something that is called SEMA. Now SEMA is the gaming character so the AI actually playing the video game which means that you can advise the AI to try out different things in that gaming world and the AI will test it itself if this world is playable, if these things are possible. So not only do you have automated generation of a gaming world, you can have automated testing of that gaming environment. And you can just imagine how crazy that is. Sadly, we can't play around with that right now because it's only a research project. Let me know what you think in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Bye. I'm not just here to play, I'm not just here to A beat drops hard, I start to flow Words come up fast like a rapid show I paint pictures with